Good morning and welcome to day one, game two of the Australian Ultimate Championships. My name's Andy Moroni, I'm joined by Avril Tam and we uh, have a game here with Adelaide Outbreak and uh, Sublime out of Perth, Avril. That's right, WA versus SA, this is going to be a good one to watch. The rain has now stopped, breeze is uh, not quite as gusty as before, so we'll see how this one plays out, hopefully some cleanos. We've got Outbreak. Um, roster on screen now, captained by Sean Davis, number 40. See some, we're probably going to see some big plays for him. And spirit captain, co-captain John O'Brill, number four. Yep, some old, uh, older heads on there. Middleton, Foley, Marty Tonkin. Going to see uh, a few of the young bloods as well. And Sublime, typical uh, Sublime. Rocked up, did about an eight-minute warm-up at about 60% intensity. So if they get jumped 3-0 here, I'm absolutely going to feed it to them. Pull is up. And Jackson Boche will be taking the brick. Right on the sideline. <clears throat> so we'll see. Looks like Sublime running a bit of a uh, split stack. Avril, and it'll be Monty Maserai first cut. That's it. Got J.T. Mazurai, trusty combination, looking upfield, waiting for the cutters to come. Ooh, just spilling it out of the hands, that lack of warm-up telling. <laughs> hey, that's supposed to be me feeding it to him. It's supposed to be the impartial one. You've got to behave. You can see the just being white from the shirt there of Donaldson. Oh, high over the top. That's just right. works. Lovely long shot. Is it too far? And also threads up the line. They weren't watching the first game because we've seen that a lot in that first <laughs> game. For those just joining us, we have had a game this morning with uh, GWS taking a, I think it was about a 15-7 win over uh, Zig Theory. But in that game, we saw a lot of shots. Um, downwind, overshot. Wind bigger than it looks. So Sublime will get a chance to go again. Looks like they're running a bit more of a horro. No, it is a split stack. It's like a two, a three-two. Two back, yeah. That's right again. This time he'll go long. Schmidt coming up. It's a floaty disc though. Oh, <laughs> snaffled by Verno, tallest man on field. Who's this big shot? Uh, Michael Vernon coming across to McKenzie. Oh, oh yes. Monty Mazurai secures that to Alex O'Neill, squeezing up the sideline. Schmidt working hard to get under. Swinging across to Mazra, opens up the field, across to Matt McKenzie. And Outbreak scrambling to get into defence. Kyle Lowe snaffles on. Oh, to Monster Mazra, but just a bit too low. Off that stretch of hands. Kyle Lowe up. Rocking a look that could best be described as a person of interest, I guess, to the authorities. That is a fierce uh, set of uh, shades, not to mention the hair. What is that? You're an Australian representative, mate. Oh, my. Great bloke, Bruce. Back one of the best. All right, we've got Outbreak starting in the corner here. Duck cuts covered, but it's a lovely inside sneak to get it through. Through the centre, but eyes on the upfield. Now the reset comes. Back across, yeah. So I'm doing all right to stifle the offence. They're not getting too many gainers, although they're cutting through these small ones through now. Pretty safe hands after that first turnover earlier. Oh, just as I say that. Snapped up by Schmidt. Carlo, person of interest. Interesting in the frisbee. Nice easy one to O'Neill on the open side. Bringing the intensity with the Sunnies. Looks for a nice gainer to Mazurai. O to Mazurai. Looking for a big one to Verno. Verno's got the legs. Not enough. Load on that one. Line beats into it. So some great early intensity. First point, straight in all the bids. A few big throws. Okay, so we've seen a couple of turns. 
a good uh, good intensity on both sides. Outbreak coming out of a vert this time. To the early dump. Well, there's no, no action deep. And then they send two deep. Just not quite coordinating with each other at the moment outbreak, but working it up on that far sideline. See if they can maintain possession here and it zips one really long, well too long for its receiver. All right, we're going to keep count. It's two overshoots, right? I'm going to keep count, and I reckon I'm going to run out of fingers. <laughs> so everyone just taking a breath now, trying to settle things down. Both teams with having opportunities bringing it close to their end zone. A couple of questionable decisions. Both teams' first uh, first game for the tournament, so first time they're going to get a uh, a chance to experience the conditions. Hopefully, they can adjust to it because we've seen a couple of overshoots. See some spectators who are well prepared with the puffers. Better prepared than I am. Right, Ocean Mazarai, classic combo off to Boche, winds up the backhand, holsters it, swings across to O. He's gone. Yelling instructions, O'Neill and Boccia getting each other's way, but Boccia comes off with the disc. Again, those continuations are really quite stagnant at the moment. So that's where I catch the disc, but there's nothing on offer as a continuation. Matt McKenzie now comes, just on, just over the top. Outbreak intercept. Everyone's pretty relaxed. What? Oh, Alex O'Neill with a layout intercept. Straight off to Kylo. Have plenty of space in front of Jackson. Oh, hello. Oh. Interesting fashion choice, it's outbreak. Yes. We're going to burn a timeout on the first point, but I don't blame them because, as we said, the intensity in the game, they've come out ready to play. And they are adjusting to the, uh, or needing to adjust. But what a, what a great bid. That was Alex O'Neill. Shades of uh, Mo uh, Louis Mazarin. Monty's older brother. He's certainly got the shag for it, but uh, also got the bid. So I'm going to jump over and hear what uh, Outbreak... Sorry, I'm going to listen to Sublime because I think that was basically their warm-up at this first point. Um, so we'll be back shortly out of the timeout. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Alti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. And we're in. Our break move back to Donaldson. Donaldson back at the end, the middle of the end zone. Moves it through. Now a little bit of flow coming from our break. Look to move it back off. Nice around break, that'll work. That's for Shal. Shal inside flick goes to Donaldson. Donaldson, he likes when he sees when he puts it up. This one might sit. It's going to work. Right at the end zone line. That's Foster. Walks it back, taps it in. They're on their line. For the first break of the game. Oh, he's done it. Gave everyone a sniff. Gave a little uh, mosquito fleet in uh, Brucey and uh, Jackson Boche a sniff. That Adelaide outbreak. This goes to show the power of a warm-up. Take note, Sublime, they take the first break and are up 1-0. 
Had a bit of everything at that point. Yeah, some incredible bids, particularly on defense. Both teams' opportunities just threw it about the defenders' heads. Wild swat from Jacko. Yeah, just a bit blindsided, really. Nice adjustment, though. I mean, we were saying earlier in the point, overshoot, overshoot, that one. Had a bit of angle in it, but straight to the uh, to the receiver. Yeah, I think the receiver also cut uh, started his cut a little bit later, yeah. which gave the thrower a little bit more window to work with. Didn't have to force it quite as much and shove it in the corner. Good point. <coughs> So outbreak start with a break and Sublime will be on offense in the slight downwind. Looks like outbreak will be coming out of a match. Sean Davis with the pull. Pull goes up. That's a nice pull. That's a nice pull. They'll be down there first yeah, pass. That'll please. be the end zone. Lovely float as well. Good run down, yeah, young blood. Putting heaps of pressure on the sublime handlers. Valeska working it through to Boche. Doesn't like the first three or four looks. Settles for Kyle Lowe and then across to Carpenter. Just working the small spaces at the moment, Sublime. Not really a lot more on offer downfield. As I say, that Maserai offers a nice gainer. Another good gainer. More drop. Lovely gainer turned really well on that one. Oh, and goes for a sharp, oh, sharp lane. Nice bit from Deering. Aiden Deering. Outbreak. Break opportunity again. Sean Davis picking up the disc. Nice easy under first. First time in on that cut. Might be option. Second one's good one. Good Brent Middleton in what would be probably close to his, I'd say, 14th national to the guess. And he's wide open. Oh. 14 years. Still got it. Well, lefties don't throw flicks. Although he just as he released it, Sean had gone up the line. Yeah, you can see it pull under his fingers as he tried to yeah, exactly. yeah, stop the throw from coming off. So Botjo picking up across to Carpenter, who is a lefty and throws a decent flick. We've got Aleska. Not much going on downfield condition wise, so settles for Carpenter behind. Still pretty stagnant upfield. Beat, beat, beat. Oh. Oh, too much on that. Pops up. Oh, Deering goes for a bid, as does Mazarai. Wonder if Sublime are just waiting for the handle movement to initiate first and then cutting off the continuation, but it's still yeah. looking very stagnant. Sean Davis picking up in the corner. Uh, he's going to argue that it was out of the uh, corner. Earlier. Take every meter you can get, Sean. With a hesitant first cut. Goes for the long. It's not going to stay in. But at least it stays in. He made his gain at least, yeah. Well, yeah. I will. He was right on the line there, so if they didn't come back, they, they were taking that Ends about six red zone, up. yeah, yeah. See the big bobble there. Nice, nice hops. Carpenter will pick up. Got a big inside shot if he wants it, takes it. Yeah, it's a favourite of his, that lefty inside. Jackson, Boche to Mazurai. It's a war drop. He's looking downfield, but there's a bunch of bodies in that backfield space, really no making it difficult. There yeah, there we go. Aleska. It's good intensity from both sides. Bid. Oh! Wardrop manages to catch it on his ankles. Oh, straight to traffic, but Mazurai does well. Just on the sideline, telling Sublime to try and settle. Back to Seleska. Good dump mark for Sean. Mazurai to O with Wardrop's on offer. Mazurai now. Surely continuation. Oh, hello! It's caught, and it's called a goal, but there's a few. It's a bit of chat. So you're going to ask a question here. He's leaning around. Look good, that's the important thing. See the 
Oh. That is very close, and I think his hands hit the deck first. Yeah, it's oh, a turn. It's a turn. Wardrop getting the matchies, matchy sunnies to O. Starting a bit of a club. He's landed his hand. He, has he, if he's obviously if his legs landed first, that's a goal. But <laughs> he got completely horizontal though. There's oh, no yeah. no yeah. other way he's going to be able to yeah. catch that. So yeah. disc first. Worry about the line second. Whoa! Senior leaders for Sublime getting it done. You can see Boche, O, Mazarai all getting really involved in the play. And on outbreak, uh, we've got Davis, Middleton, all being keen components as well. He's on the team list. Nationals are four day war of attrition, so. Might as well put your coach on the playing list because you don't know how <laughs> many you'll have as we take a look at the sublime team list. I mean, um, as you were saying before, some of the senior players, Mazarai, Poche, uh, Bruce uh, Kylo. Yep. But, uh, Michael Vernon, he was the long fella, right? Yeah, tallest bloke on the field. <laughs> he's got height, he's also got speed. Oh, he should, he's all arms and legs. <laughs> So one all, early days here. Not too wet yet, but wind's certainly making its presence felt as that pull goes out of bounds. Two bricks from three points. Just gets Inside, a nice one on this close sideline with the wind a contributing factor here. Needs to make passes. Going south quick, uh, wind and rain picking up now. Really putting second doubts into the thrower's mind. Oh, lovely inside. Great quick release. Yeah. There's a lot of movement downfield, but Pandas aren't liking the options. One's gone. Like it. Bit of a straight up kind of force to stop the bigs in that downwind space. So outbreak are content with playing the small ball. Yeah. Just staying, keeping possession for now. And getting some pretty high counts as well. They don't seem very fussed by high counts. Like that's throwing on a, a downfielder on a, on a five count, yeah. easy. Oh, now they go for the big. That'll work. That'll work. Get left. Get left. Oh. Oh. Just went over the head. Yeah, I mean, it's easy for me to sit here and say go left, but yeah, <laughs> probably not as easy for him. It looked good to start with, and then it just uh, bumped up a little. Yeah, John O'Brill there trying to reel it in. We've got Glover picking it up. He'll be ringing in from the corner. And again, bringing out that split sack, two back, and then two and three. Oh. Go, Biff! Oh. Just threw it behind. Outbreak now with a short field to work with. It's got to be said, there are some absolutely rude lids running around there from Outbreak. Between the, the glasses, the facial hair, the mullets. <laughs> Foster picking up. Across. Take you tonight. Oh, yep, just reads it well. What does he want? Surely the upline pocket. Nice for Charlotte. Nice little yeah. shake and bake, baby, well up the line. That gives it a bit of action too. Adelaide Outbreak. <laughs> Get their second on the board. Nice cut from the dump position, got to the 45. Stutter stepped, made the defender think he was coming back and then continued on up the line. So mm. this was well, well read. You can see the disc has been bobbing up a few times, particularly on those longer shots. You see Vishal in the dump position now. 
goes the goosey, went to, goes back, one, two. And well done from his teammates to actually leave that space, not have anyone cutting into it, because that's when you see someone get their head taken off. And also, kudos to the thrower. We saw quite a few throws in that yeah, same position right. from yeah. the previous game. Yeah, we're just floated out, out that side as the wind's blowing slightly across downwind and also across to that far left corner on your screen. So, yeah, good control from outbreak. So Adelaide took the first break. Sublime realised they were at Nationals, woke up, put one on the board themselves. So we're going to need to get at least one break back. So Sublime are putting on a pretty strong line for this one. We've got Carlo, Bocchier, Vernon, Maserai, we've got um, Babyface, Ryan Kelly, O'Neill and McKenzie. So I reckon they'll be looking for a nice, clean, quick hold. As you see, Maserai going deep for Carlo. Safe hands all day, just on the edge of the end zone. Verno working hard. Pulls two defenders, back to Carlo. Across to Maserai, and with baby face. Freedom at McKenzie. That's what they were looking for, that quick score. That I mean, that first pass and throw, well done, Monty. I don't know if there was a miscommunication from the outbreak team, but he didn't look like he had much of an opponent. Well, take what you're given. If they're going to give you that space, you may as well run into the paddock. Absolutely. But like you mentioned before, the weighting of that throw, that easily could have been overthrown. Yeah, and this one, he just kind of didn't need to break stride. Really. It was perfect. Yeah. Was it I Jacko? Mean, uh, Carlo, I think. Oh. And Kyle again to Monty. Yeah, I think Kyle, O, Boche, Maserai, those three. We're going to get sick of calling their yeah. names, <laughs> I'm already sick of them. <laughs> Been sick of them <laughs> for years. <laughs> All right. So it is two all. Adelaide have the, the mini break, as they say. So they'll uh, have the shot at O, downwind. Pool goes up. This one will be in just. Ben Foley enters the game. And it looks like Sublime playing a bit of a junk. Finds an inside through. Moving it now to the wing position. They manage to reset, get the count on, back to Foley. Foley, no count. They have to retreat, lose a little bit of ground. Foster, Foster, back to Donaldson, to Foley. Foley, Donaldson. Into John O'Brill, I think that is, he is. Donaldson, Jack Donaldson. It looks like they've transitioned, they're a bit slow, so a couple of people free, now they've locked on. Little low and upstairs to Donaldson on the sideline, looks inside with the flick to Brill. Brill can break, doesn't like the break backhand. Donaldson's uh, opponent poached off him. Donaldson shows a little bit of air to one, but it works. It's Foster. Goes for the inside laser, it's too much. Kato Foster. Just a bit too much heat on that one. Yeah, Sublime doing well uh, with that junk look to stop the quick movement from outbreak and then transitioning pretty well to match, maintaining that intensity. Got Carpenter picking it up from the sideline. Now that's a responsible haircut from Carpenter. <laughs> well done to Wardrop to keep that disc alive. It's lost the sunnies for this point. Notices that there's no sun around. Yeah, it's borderline night. <laughs> Kinsella to Diaz. Back to Carpenter. Oh, across to Wardrop. He had plenty of space, fortunately. Goes for a big one on to one. Kinsella. Oh no. Just drops early. <laughs> Always had a couple of shots there. Looks like they might be sticking with the match on defense and outbreak go the big one of their own. It's dropping early again. Wardrop just catches that one. It intercepts quickly off to Carpenter, who has that lovely lefty backhand. Fury's got the disc now about halfway down the field. Pick, pick, a pick, like a pick's being called. A couple back. See the muscle man. Up. working out where the position is and Deering to bring it back in. 
Bobbing to Carpenter. Working their way up slowly. Cuts them dried up here. Ben Bastion. Carpenter calling for the dominating movement, but he goes across break side to Kinsella Foggen. Knocking on the door now, Sublime. Calls from the sideline to ask him to stay patient. He goes for an inside look, and that's a score. That's a break back. We're back on serve. To all. Players working hard on that one. You can see just a few of those high discs. Uh, giving opportunities to the defense to really get involved. Well, not just um, old Longshanks, what's his name? Uh, the big fella. Vernon. Vernon. Not just him, but there are a couple of players, I'd say, that across the board, um, Sublime probably have a taller line, which feels funny to say when you look at, like, <laughs> Jacko and, and Brucey and stuff running around out there, but they do also have some really tall players. Yeah. From a sublime perspective, I mean, you got you got Brett Middleton, Foley, but both of those, like especially Foley, he's kind of I think handling more. Mm. Donaldson is tall, but he's handling. So, mm. yeah, it'll be interesting to see where the deep game or the long game from uh, outbreaks going to come from. It's not to say you need to be tall to have a deep game, but you either need to be kind of throwing into that space or be prepared to raffle one off and and put the big boys the end zone. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Sublime are doing pretty well, not just the height but the hops as well. I think they're just timing it really well yeah. and just kind of baiting that for that block opportunity. So as we see... Oh! Looks like it's an out call. He's saying he's out. He's <laughs> collaxed him and then he's called him out. Uh, give us a shake. Probably not too out to be fair. <laughs> I don't know if you could call him out when you're midway through backpacking <laughs> him, but uh, all right, let's have a look maybe. He's in wow. by a mile to start with. Self, self refer okay, <laughs> self refereed sport. Oh. And the coach has just lost his nut over here, the outbreak coach. He's not happy and he has every right to be because I think that was very, very nice of uh, outbreak. I'll put it that way. Oh, he's giving him the deep option. Comes back around, swing across, didn't take the continuation. He's looking for that big backhand huck, but going for a small ball now. Oi! Great bid. Mackenzie sublime still with the disc, across to Glover, staying patient to Ben Bastion. Vanessa's dragging his player deep, not an offer. Diaz working hard under. Again, more bids from outbreak. Sublime just maintaining possession for now. Got Aleska to Kinsella. Good patience. Oh, that's a high one. Matt McKenzie gets up. Just on the red zone now. Foggen with the disc. What's he looking for? Just one at a time. Break. Oh. oh. Sublime's calling it up. It's a bit of doubt. Everyone's like just looking confused. Yeah, <laughs> Sublime just kind of looking yeah. confused. Going, I don't think that that was a catch, but, but no one knew. But no one called it down. No one so knew well enough to say otherwise. So let's watch this. Definitely bobbles a bit. Bobbles. And then it lands on him. It lands on his hat. It lands in his forearm. Forearms. I just don't know if he had control of it on that. Uh, we'll, on we'll the get second. A great angle here. On the second bid. Yeah. So great Bounce. bid. No. Hat. Hand. Mm. Ooh, did it touch? the ground behind his shoulder. I don't Look, think it did. I'll put it this way. I think the Frisbee gods shone on uh, outbreak that point. I think between that <laughs> one and that one. Yeah, okay. Fair grab. Steve says fair grab. Yeah. Steve probably had a better angle. Yeah. yeah. Before it, Before it fell. Yeah, that yeah. was what we were wondering if he had control. On the back, yeah. So Game Advisor says all good. And a fortuitous arm positioning by Tom Kinsella, really. The disc just fell into his lap. Well, he was just landing. And then, yeah, <laughs> it just fell it into his lap. Uh, I reckon Sublime have put on a bit of a power line here. You can see a couple of the defensive line come across. Let's see if they can get this break. That's a high pull, but. You're an artist, Jackson Bocce. You're an absolute oh. artist, mate. Never doubted you. 
Donaldson, nice wide flick to Fischal. Over to John O'Brill. Got an inside break if they want it, don't take it. Fischal has to do a little bit of work, but it pays off. But they're not moving it up, it's all going up uh, sideways. Still in the end zone. Cheng. Now they've got a long shot, didn't like it, but there was a travel, you couldn't throw it. There's a lot of heat on these undercuts. Carlo and Mark. Donaldson finally gets a good game out. Did a lot of work for it. Bashar's gone. And that throw was like almost out the back of the hand. Had nothing on it. Yeah. It is, uh, for those who can't pick it up on the... Uh, actually, you can't pick it up on the feed. It's raining. <laughs> Definitely raining. Brucey has one out wide if he wants. Eventually takes it. Eli Ward drop with the disc. Sublime will really want to slot this one in. They've put a power D-line on. They've got the turn now. They just need to convert. Boche's covered. Jeez, Carlo is in. <laughs> With some heat. Going all the way. Go. Oh. Bounced out. Bounced out of his hands, but can't fault the effort. He's hurt himself too. He's hurt himself. Looks like that steering with the bid there. The run off Hospital the pass is okay. from Jacko. You've hurt your teammate now. One thing, regardless of what squad Sublime bring every year, year in, year out, you know you are going to get bids. That's that's what they do. Even if they don't get it, it's all about looking good. Yeah, mullets and sunnies included. Oh, was it? Was it? Bruce, did Kyle throw that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Kyle. Come on. Yeah, it was an inside shot yeah, from yeah. from Jackson to Kyle, and then Kyle the big big one to Darren. I mean, the space was good, just died a little bit too quickly for Aiden to get his hands underneath. So outbreak starting in the corner, playing Sublime playing team defense, up the line, not on, but a lovely inside. Ooh. And red zone for Sublime. And Boche, Carpenter to Boche, that D line power line he paid off. It. Yeah, he called it. Be surprised if we see a TO and we have there you go timeout. So that'll be the second one. We saw the first time out of the game on the first point. Well called, Andy. I mean, outbreak have got to find something to stem the flow because Sublime are getting opportunities pretty much every single point. Just a couple of unlucky, like he didn't drop it on the catch, catch. He, it was as he then went to throw, but he all spent it before he had it. Bridges, so Sublime are well and truly warmed up. Yes. Ahead 5-2 now. I was desperate for them to go down a few <laughs> so I could remind them about the benefits of a warm-up that they didn't do. But here we are. Uh, for those tuning in, feel free to get involved in the chat. All you need to do is subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button and then you can get amongst it. Uh, Rob, yes, we're in Ballarat, Victoria if the uh, cold and rain and wind didn't give it away. Jokes. Love you, Ballarat. Thank you for hosting us. So a lot of good, uh, well-intentioned support for Outbreak and um, a fair bit of either backhanded compliments or outright outright heckling from uh, for Sublime. Same old Sublime in the chat. Could be a compliment about one of their bids, or could be <laughs> not so much of a compliment. I, it depends. Time stamping is everything in this. Like, oh, okay, when did you say that? Was that for that, or was that for when the bloke backpacked him and then called him out? <laughs> I, I know which one I'm guessing, <laughs> by the way. All right. Game advisors getting uh, a hustle on with these timeouts. Looking pretty cheery in the Sublime camp. We've got some new uniforms this year. Sublime do? Yeah. Same as every other year. <laughs> oh. So oh, Steve is. Uh, like, okay, what's, okay. So Steve has just let us know that Sublime have called a timeout straight after Outbreak's timeout. Hence the extended.
extended I don't think I've ever time heard of on play. Before. I don't know you could do that, to be fair. I mean, there's no reason why not, apart from, like, just being sensible. <laughs> well, okay. That's a, a, that's a real weird kind of flex. I wonder if it's just some kind of power move. We'll, um, yeah. we'll grab one of the Sublime boys and try and understand what, if any, logic's been applied to that. <laughs> Maybe they just want to keep at Brett Calder for a bit longer. Get them to drop a few more discs. I'd say it's a tactical play. I mean, it's weird. <laughs> It's a sublime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of the sublime boys are on this side. We might grab uh, Brucey at, out of half. Next chance we get. Blime up with the pull. Glover gets it almost to the end zone line. Outbreak get going. It's like just a match defense. Well, it's oh, well, I have They're sitting a poach it's off the front. I think this is a junk. No, it's a junk, yeah. Might be a transition. Bid. Ooh. <laughs> he didn't nice. well to avoid contact. <laughs> oh, again. it's overthrow. Unlucky from Sean because he, he went for the first one which took some spin off, off it. Yes. Had he held off, he probably could have run on it. Yeah, yeah. Stop the rotation a bit early. So short field to work before the survive B line. Glover picking up the disc. Carpenter is a stuff. Expect some movement from the stack. Fogging across to Aleska. Bid 20. Oh, yeah, Carpenter boy. just managing to get it from Davis. That's going to be a great battle. Oh, just playing the small ball sublime. Working through the handles. Oh, again, Kinsella. That's super just patient. Just outside the sideline. Bastion calling for it. Diaz with the score. Kinsella to Diaz. Did he salute? Yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> They're built different, some of your boys. <laughs> they are unique kind of operators. Double A flavour, I say. Lovely bid from Shawnee. Really yeah. wanted to work hard to get it back, you can tell. Um, but Carpenter's patience. Like, he's probably the most patient dude on, on Sublime. Yep. I mean, that's why he's a D-line handler. Just that lovely lefty around. Really nice shape. Gave Kinsella plenty of time to run onto it. Um, thank you for the, loving the, the, uh, the action in the comments. Keep it coming, especially if they're compliments. Or especially, especially if they're heckles. Uh, and JP, yeah, agreed. Um, we haven't seen a, oh, I haven't seen a timeout out of a timeout, but um, Steve, ba Steve Baker, is it Steve yep, Baker, yeah, he's the uh, game advisor. He kind of came over and told us that's why it was an extended timeout. So um, I can't wait to ask uh, Brucey or Jacko what the, uh, what the idea yeah. was there. Yeah, something odd about it, but you know what? There's something odd about Sublime. Anyway, keep going. Pulls up. Unless this one lands in on the sideline. Oh, Narayan fakes a big. Goes back to Foster. Gets across. Ooh, that just came on with a bit of heat and just slipped through the hands. And again, Sublime's getting it done on the D-line. Back to Carpenter, the most patient handler. Sublime, Diaz, low shot, but McKenzie manages to save the disc. Just dump it off now, young fella. Sideline, looking for a safe option. Carpenter is coming behind to O. Continues there, but he doesn't throw the shot. He's getting settled again, Sublime. Everyone's going at once, which really makes it difficult for Kyle. And then go Fox. Nice. Foggin manages to get that on his knees. And then a downfield to Chef Diaz. Bids, but couldn't quite get over that. I love Sublime. No real chance for, for that, but you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Nice, soft, uh, soft. This is a lovely try out into space. Yeah. Your man, when he goes to his knees, he loses five metres because <laughs> it's so wet. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a player getting uh, Horro somewhere in that, in that uh, mix of uh, bodies. 
break. Really want to score this one to keep, uh, keep the scoreboard pressure there. Donaldson moves back. On the ineffective dump cut. I think there's going to be a kick ball. To call. No, that should be coming back on zero, you'd hope. So I think it's turn. Is it turn? No, he's no, got to stay. No. Oh, a big shot goes up. Go on, Donaldson. Big boy, Donaldson. <laughs> it's entirely unconvincing, but it got there. Um, you were thinking it. You were thinking. I was like, okay, that's going to work. And that's nothing against him. That's more a um, the wind the thing. Wind. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thanks. I think I think he threw it just as the wind died. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Donaldson wasn't safer. really sure. He kind of sped up, sl slowed down. Oh. It's hard for the big fellas to look out again, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, Lovely shot and great uh, separation. Yeah, pretty static option, wasn't it, from the ball, whatever it was? Yeah, but I mean, we were talking about it earlier. The, the long game from outbreak, not really knowing where it's going to come from. We spoke about Donaldson being behind the disc. He's front of it now, kind of getting in the end zone, and, uh, and it paid off. It's pretty good. <sighs> I wouldn't say it's warm, but it's no longer freezing. The wind has the wind has died down, which is uh, doing wonders for us and our fantastic Ulti TV team, who are in partnership with uh, Ultimate Australia, are able to bring you this fantastic event. Obviously, had to did two nats last. Year. Last, last week. weekend, yep. Um, the, who took out the women's division? Was it? Was it was who played Ellipsis? Ellipsis yep, lost. Surge. Surge. Surge in the women's division. And the Mudlarks going uh, uh, the 17th uh, in a row or something. Uh, it's to be a brick, I think. Jack, I've got to go. Yeah. The wind's just picked up again. Had to say it, didn't uh, I? Fantastic. <sighs> Tell, it, tell the sun to come out, Andy. Well, I said the wind went away, but then I realised Rex has been good enough to put up a big tar, which I think is helping us. She now seems to be removing. Oh, no. All right, Jacko's got the disc. Boche looks nice wide backhand to Mazaray. Mazaray looks, nothing there. Looks to engage Boche. Boche goes up the line. Lovely lefty backhand from Mazaray. Now Boche has power position, moves it into the midfield. And so we've got Verno. In the middle of the field now. Waiting for Mazarai. Mazarai on that continue. Schmidt, good timing on that, but Mazarai not quite ready to throw, having to track back. And that lovely inside to Matt McKenzie. High release lefty backhand every day. Every day. Opened up by that nice break by Verno. Yeah, that step out. That step out. Well, it's a big step. Step out here, Mazarai just in front of us as well, just yeah. to get that up line to Bocce. Yeah. yeah, that big step around. Not much Sweet Ads can do about that one. Sublime certainly aren't doing it easy, despite what the scoreboard says. Outbreak is certainly applying every pressure, like pressure to every single catch. We're seeing, well, we're seeing multiple turns. I think that's how both of these teams play. Like you've got, you've got your teams that are very cerebral, right? Like they're very drilled. They know exactly what they're doing. They tend not to turn it over too many points a game. Uh, and then you've got the teams that are a bit more um, wild dog. Yolo. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, a bit more, I wouldn't say kinetic. Uh, they're, just, they're just digging it through. Um, and they're happy with three or four points a game. They're happy to make uh, three or four turns a point. They're happy to make it a bit of a scrap. Yep, that could I mean it goes both ways, but yeah. I think both of these teams are similar, which is why it's a really good matchup. But I agree, 3 7 feels closer than that. Yep. He's got Narayan picking up the disc, centres to Foster, back to Donaldson. Classic combo, really, in the backfield. Foster getting free. Looks like a transition. I think it's matched now. Yep. He's looking for the continue, but time didn't quite time that. His downfield cutter. Ryan is deep. Oh, now Foles oh, going. Jolly. That's got to go. Good cut, Foles. I would have thrown him, mate. Yep. Lovely across to Donaldson. 
across that side lane is looking to centre now. But then they're getting kind of really driven to that fourth side when they do the Uber as we go overthrow. So as Outbreaker trying to swing it around, they get that first dump off, but that continuation cut, that timing is just not there. And that's really getting them trapped on that side. I know having to throw some slightly risky passes like that. Yeah. On the upside, we are actually seeing more deep cuts go like uh, Narayan was absolutely free as a bird as they transition. Fall had a really good cut as well, so if they feel confident enough to uh, to throw there, I think, uh, I think that's going to bring another element to the game. Yeah. Here we go, big underbeard. Nice oh. grab above his head. Nice one, Aleska. He looks forward. War drops coming out under space. Looking for Carpenter. Lesky is coming up line. Oh! Oh! Look at this. Carpenter. Off the hands of Aleska. Carpenter comes to grab the disc. Oh, where was this first his point hand, of contact? Yeah, I hand. think his hand might have been beyond the line. What everyone's watching the replay, having a chat. On that. I think he's out, but let, 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 no, that they're calling it in. All right. What, the what call. is with this sideline today? <laughs> <laughs> two or three. I mean, that's a fantastic. I was going to say, it. regardless of um, of if it was in or out, great bid to save the point. So Foster just hanging in that space and getting a hand. Well, that was the second the time he did it as well. Yeah. That the whole reason that that first thing went because he peeled off the front. That's it. That's it. It's a very smart play in that space as a defender, knowing that his it's player wasn't. Count, yeah. Ooh, he had just sent a flipped his hand about three times, but managed to secure the disc and then throws oh, oh. it lovely inside. Here we go. Come on, come, come on, on, go, 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 go. Foster winds up but doesn't put it. Now a long one goes. Surely oh, my score. blood pressure could return. <laughs> <laughs> that poor fella was out. Do about six throws. He was deep, and I was like, <laughs> he was Pop working a, so hard. Pop a flare, dude. He was timing it so well, but they just weren't yeah. willing to throw it. But you know what? They kept possession. They scored the goal. Yeah. I'll shut up. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm on this side. <laughs> that line that keeps giving us trouble, and they're on that side. But uh, yeah. good. I guess as the handlers, if you've you know thrown a couple of overthrows. You probably just had that little bit of self-doubt, and that was probably enough for them to holster it a couple of times until they got a little closer. But no, Foster doing a lot of work there, both on defense and then really steadying the offense, getting a few nice inside flicks through. All right, so it looks like Outbreaker settling into this game now, 4-7. Still a lot of goals being scored on that downfield, uh, downwind end. <laughs> Sublime of a power line again. It's probably their top offensive line, I'd say. Still in the game, in the tournament to be shortening your lines, but all right. Whatever works. <laughs> Touched it. Ooh. Oh, Mazurai, Mazurai in the midfield. Goes to Schmidt. Schmidt, a little bit wide. Berno. Just a little behind Berno, fortunately. The space was good. Just slipped up the hands, perhaps. Nice throw. Great, low break. Tuck well. To fly out of the front of the stack. Look at the Shah. Shah to Shawnee. Kim Davis. I think I keep calling him Sean Mason. Kim Davis. Just to Earl. Back to Shawnee. Shawnee wants the inside flip, takes it, gets it to Sweet Eyes, bobbles it, eventually grabs it. Goes back to Shawnee. Shawnee again wanting to punish that break side, does punish the break side. Gets it right to the end zone line. They're there. Sweet as is there, and they've got a goal. They've got a break. And they are up and about. 5 7. Big break. A big upwind score. Upwind up break. score. Yeah. Sean Davis putting the team on his back and saying, 
Listen, I'm going to throw breaks. You just go and stand there. Because I think three in a row, really punishing that space. Yeah, he steps out really nicely, gets really low and balanced in that throw. Yeah. Nice grab from Sweet Eyes, actually, because that one, as good as the break was, it was actually behind him a bit. Yeah. You just so often see when a player has to kind of retreat Ten. back, mm. they flub it, but... Um, Not that one. Yeah. Anyone has a spare iPhone charger that isn't soaked through, please, uh, Victoria Parkfield, all right. Five, seven. Again. See Carpenter. I, I think his hand was just on the line. Right, so Sublime will be looking to try and slot an easy clean O in. Uh, break looking to disrupt to try and claw the game back. Well, Five seven. seven. I mean, yeah. The up window. I mean the conditions are just so unpredictable. It's going between the sun shining to raining sideways. Brucey, Carlo, back to Jackson, back to Kyle. They get it to the oh, mark. Oh, they get it to engage Monty oh, Maserati. Oh, I mean, this is the set play. The classic on the Yeah. Behind to O. Across to Boche. Not much movement downfield, so it goes back across to Kyle and up to Maserai. Who else? With a bit of heat from Outbreak. They do realise there are four other players on the field, yeah. <laughs> Just telling them to clear and make space. So, yeah, inside to Boche, who goes up for a big shot. Schmidt, the target. Ooh, bang. Ooh, that's going to be a foul. Out. Yeah. I think Ling's got tangled, bodies flew well before either of them had a bid. And I think that was Foster, hey, with the defensive gonna, pressure in that last They're going to get point. that advised in box. I think the question will be whether he had a bid on it. That was the, yeah, the top from that angle. I mean, the disc was still really high in the air when the players went down, so I reckon they would have been in position. Yeah. He will probably keep it, he will. Sorry, that's not Foster, that's Perkins on the defence there. So Schmidt to bring it to the front of the end zone. It's Iso Vernon. Oh, goes behind to O. Picks it up from his ankles. Boche, lots of jinking to get free. Oh, Kyle throws to O'Neill for the score. and you know it, On a nine count, I reckon. Uh, but that is the half. Uh, Adelaide outbreak la rallying late to keep themselves in it with a break up win. See the, uh, the point that we've got put in for half. You can see Boche just dragging those two defenders which opened up O'Neill behind here. That's a genuine nine count. Yeah. And thrown like a nine count. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to go hang out with the teams, uh, see what the message is out of half. And, uh, we will be back shortly to bring you all the action in a second.
And we're back at Div 1 Nationals in Ballarat and the sun's just come out. We've got Sublime versus Outbreak. It's radiant, Avril. Look at this. <laughs> Get the uh, coconut oil out. Maybe not just yet. So we've got Sublime with the pool. They're, they're ahead at half, 8-5. Nice high lofty pool. Defender's getting down to put pressure on that first pass. Nice. Goes upstairs. Safe. Gets this, uh, Middleton. Middleton to Lace. Davis. Sorry, I've got to keep calling. <sighs> Sorry, Shawnee. I was going to say Shawnee. <laughs> Sean Davis. Outbreak not making much ground. Just swinging it across. Ooh, with some nice heat from Sublime. Ooh. Nice high one, snaffled up by Tran. Again, back across to Davis in the middle of the field. Just making very slow canes and he goes for a hammer. There's a little bit of float at the end there. But it did, yeah. Yeah, couldn't quite keep it off the ground. As the sun is now nice and bright. Get amongst it. Where are the sunnies, guys? Actually, where are they? sunnies in the car, right? Might have to borrow Carlos. Oh, I'm not wearing them. No, I think I would get approached for um, various purposes from the, from the Ballarat locals. Unsavory of types. It's a down call. Looks like there's a call. Let's have a look at it. I think Mikey thought it was down. And watch everyone storm the screen. You've got a big screen here, guys. Sweet as. Oh, you've got to sometimes wonder why you bother, really. Uh. Well, yeah. I could just say that they're well-spirited and don't need the video to make a decision. So, Sublime maintains possession of the disc for now. I'm going to keep an eye on the chat, okay? You, you commentate. <laughs> I don't want to see the chat blow up. Come on. Oh, yep, and there we go, disc karma. Oh, here we go, here we go. You beat me to it. You've got the sideline here, disc never lies. Oh, lofty high throw. Oh, oh, that's a goal. He's got his hand under. There's going to be some discussion. It's got to go both ways, guys. Right, let's have a look at the video this time. That was a funny Oh, it's a basketball shot. Lectured. Hand under. On top of the Sideline all gathering around the video replay here. <laughs> you know what I don't like? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hold on. Hey, Sublime, you didn't want to watch the first one, so don't watch that one. No, 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 you don't get it both ways. All right? I hope this might be slightly more consequential. You cheeky boys. I'm watching. I'm on his. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's good. Uh, <laughs> all right, so don't shoot the messenger, all right? This is the reason why game advisors should be refereeing. <laughs> down, down. All right, so sublime in possession of the disc, working it up from their end zone line, up to Ben Bashan to Tom Kinsella. Fakes a big, goes the safe option, swing around, swing, swing. Very good, sublime. Making sure they move the defense. 
now Carpenter. He's been really good this game yeah, so so very, far. very steady. Carpenter to a less good, an unfortunate drop by Glover. Yeah, the D-line have been functioning very well with Sublime, with Carpenter as that axis. Yeah. Uh, Kinsella, Alescu, Foggen, all working really hard. Wouldn't be surprised to see Sweet As go long here. Could have just went in. Finish it off. All right, so outbreak, maintaining possession, goes. working it up without too much pressure. And that up line Run onto it. floats. Yeah. Yeah. That's a goal, Sublime. Oh, sorry, outbreak. outbreak. Over Sublime, get it to 8 6. We got a game. We got a game. Not without a few speculative calls, eh? I, um, I mean, with all the excitement, I did get the chance. Did you see the D on the hammer? He, like, fisted it. <laughs> he had a clenched <laughs> fist. He, he punched the disc, which, again, I've not seen too much of. So, a bit of um, something forever on this game. Yeah. So, say, unconventional Sublime. Yeah. Whatever makes it work. So outbreak, get one back. They'll be keen to continue the momentum, see if they can just snaffle one more. And both teams have been blessed by the presence of John O'Greenfield playing his 32nd Nationals, maybe 33rd. Still getting around, probably got better wheels than most of the blokes out there. Never stopped playing Greeny. Okay, against my better judgment, I'm gonna put the laptops back out because I think the rain is behind us. There's white clouds on the left, grey ones on the right. It's a 50-50. I had to say, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, pull going up. Let's see if Ape Outbreak can uh, consolidate on that upwind. I mean, that was the other thing. It was an upwind break. Yeah, absolutely. Jackson had one that was coming in hot. Jackson. Again, Maserai. Schmidt. Making nice under. That's covered, so it goes long. I'm just going to make a recording of these three names and you can just play it, right? <laughs> Loop, yeah. Just get AI sorted out, really. <laughs> we'll be out of a job. Put us out of a job. Yeah. Great throw. Nice gainer. Verno to O'Neill. Schmidt's coming under. Well but they're poaching. Punishing the poach now. Right, so Sublime, just see if they can stay steady. He's looking for Maserai. Who else? They're all looking break side. They really want to punish break side. That fake really sold a house and a half. Yeah. All right, over to Kyle. Schmidt. I feel that was on. Break if he, wants it. he doesn't even want Maserai. Boche. And to Maserai. So Sublime As, doing. Oh, oh travel hang call. on, travel called. I understand why he's called a travel, but it's not a travel. Because he's he's landed and then he's plant like he's moved direction, but he's on his pivot. Mm. Is my opinion. Not out there. Worth Game advisors are. Game advisors ready to give an opinion if they are asked. So, for those of you who are less familiar with our game of Ultimate, we have Game Advisors, which is, which is a whiff diff world flying disc federation uh, rules in which. Ooh, that's a goal. So Sublime secure that, which snuffs out Outbreak's momentum. Brings it to 9-6. I don't know, I think it's looking a little tricky for Outbreak to come back. I mean, I think a lot rests on this point in yeah. the context of the game. The, the fact that they broke upwind, I mean, this will be an upwind hold, mm. but the fact that they broke upwind, I think, should give them confidence. But you need to be able to hold upwind as well. Um, and then you can have a crack at trying to do what they were doing before and in consolidating or getting a break back for the downwind. I know earlier we were talking about how both teams have a bit of a high risk, high reward style. Yeah. Interestingly, Sublime, I think, have really been able to pull it back and just play really steady possession offence. Yeah. I mean, you've got the three musketeers rolling around out there, but on the other side of things, I'd put it down to Carpenter, to yeah. be honest. Like, his, his um, temperament 
very much as he said, the Axis playing that rock role. Um, I think he's been really good at helping dictate the momentum. Yeah, for sure. I think his presence really helps the rest of his line play nice steady. Yeah, yeah Alesku and Foggen working really hard. Kinsella also getting involved on that D-line. So let's see if they can pull it out again for this point. Uh, Joshy G, is it a travel if you throw from within the end zone? Uh, yes. That's a short answer. We've got go Davis. To uh, where you cross the end zone line. All right, so coming out of a vert stack. Sublime are doing really well to stop their first three or four options, really. And forcing out break to just get small. Backpack and that's time. a high option. Wardrop gets up and gets high with the intercept. Ooh. Throw the inside. And they scout to Carpenter. That steadying offensive axis. What's he looking for now? Foggen. Oh, lovely inside break to Aleska. And <laughs> a little lefty backhand. Showtime there. To Deering. That D-line getting it done again for Sublime. Yeah, the mood in the outbreak camp, it's pretty quiet at the moment. They're going to have to yeah. find another gear up. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's flattened them right out. Flat as a biscuit. So if you're watching along, you got any questions or just want to get amongst the action, please uh, comment on the, uh, the YouTube chat. We'll read out all the ones that we think are good or funny. Uh, in order to do that, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button refresh it and uh, then you'll be able to join in on the, the chat. Lots of love for the uh, new Sublime kit. If you call it new, I'm not sure you call it new, but anyway. Been the same for 15 years. Small variations. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit of colour on the can't shorts give now. Credit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a bit of a junk, which really slows out breakdown. Ooh, just squeezes it. Yeah, you said it before. The pressure that Sublime are bringing on the first, especially the first few points. Go, go deep, go deep, Fall. Go, 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 go. Go, oh, Fall. Bid Fall. Yes, Folly. And out, break, get one back. Bid Fall. Just they needed that. Yeah, just to stem the bleeding here. That will get their spirits up a little bit after that very flat line. That was a laser, I thought. Was it Donaldson that threw that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, uh, you might be right. Long limbs, seven, eight pants. Yeah. Great waiting. Seeing those go over the back. Do it again. Yeah, what I noticed Sublime doing really well on that defensive line, they've kind of got a bit of a junky look or a bit of team defense yes. Yes. to really stop that That's first pass. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Making or forcing outbreak to look for those dumps, getting a little bit stressed with those high counts, which sometimes just a little error is enough to get a sniff or enough to make the thrower think twice about putting it up. And that's been really, really effective and probably um, the reason for all of the breaks, or a fair few of the breaks this game. And for those who are watching our Aussie TV uh, footy, feel free to, uh, as I said, like, subscribe, but also get around the Patreon uh, added benefits. Uh, include a personal one-on-one -on -one session with myself. Um, I'm sure there are other good things about it as well. Sublime, Boche has it, moves out to Mazurai, Shokara. That's why he gets it wide, goes back inside, gets to Schmidt. Schmidt moves it through. They are at the midfield now. Verno, then back to O. O has it, looks around for the wide backhand, gets it, makes it work. Lewis. Oh, and there's oh, a block, hand block. Lovely block by outbreak. And they're straight on. Get the disc moving quickly. Sean Davis is out this. Marsh is getting settled down. Whoa! Oh.
Yeah. Super nice son with the disc now on the sideline. Goes across to Sean Davis. Oh, hang on. It's foul called somewhere. Not too sure where. Somehow gets it through to Sweet As. Reading the needle. A real chance here. They just need to chill. Take a breath. Okay, so we get set. Chance. Little up line. Right on the line here. Got it back. Davis. Still has it. The open stance back end. That's going to be. Oh. Hang on. Foul called on that play. I think it'll be a. Open stands back in. Oh, oh. So, so you're right, it would be it's, it's gonna be a foul. Discussion about a foul. Open stands back in. I think there'll be a discussion that uh, there was contact with Jackson push. when he went up. He couldn't I didn't see it, but we're not gonna see it from that yeah. angle. I could just see directly behind two players. Extended discussion. Players continuing to forget that there are game advisors who have been specifically brought here, brought here to provide an impartial opinion, if asked. All in the spirit of the game to have a good discussion. That's the flip side, yeah. It's, all, it's also spirited to us, the advisors. I think they'd be nudging yeah. them along for time, though. Discussions, exactly uh, what Steve Bates yeah. has gone over, literally <laughs> tapping the watch, go and get on with it. Now they've asked him what he thinks. Contested foul. Taking it back. Back to the thrower. Okay. Maybe just an open stance flick, Sean, this time. Got all the players in that one side of the field. Very contested. Yeah, it does the smart thing by trying to expand the field by swinging. But the continuation not on. Hopefully now Great. it is. There we go. Bang. Yep, that's it. Once again, Sean uh, Davis. Sean Davis. I think you called him Lace at one point. Did I? Did, yeah, I think I'm in your head. <laughs> or maybe I'm in my own head. Uh, but it doesn't matter who he is. He's punishing the break yeah. sides. Yep. Really looking there. Even to the point, like, Monty's a great mark. He will see Sean way too close on that dunk. Yeah. As you can tell straight away, he tried, yeah. He just that on. little handler jinking to get free. Monty overcommitted, and then it's like all day. Uh, just in that power position there. If that break can sneak a few more on that break side or punish that break side, yeah. they'll be in with a sniff. 8-10. So when I asked the uh, Sublime lads if they knew that they could, you know, the little mosquito crew, uh, Jacko and Monty and um, Kylo, uh, I said, there are four other blokes on the line. They said, oh, not really, no. Um, they want to be like Rob, Andrew and um, Tom Tullet. That's what they said they want to be like. And I'm like, <laughs> at best, you're like an Aldi version of, of Rob and, and Cupcake. Uh, and they took that. They, they took that. <laughs> Actually, that's two things you're going to get with Sublime. You're going to get bids and ban. Guaranteed. All right. And Outbreak are out with a junk, there which gets go. an immediate turn. Mosquito crew not successful this time around. Oh! Ooh. Still on the end zone line. Flying pretty. Oh. Not in. How have they thrown three goals and are not in? Oh. Oh, yeah, there one's in. Oh, that outbreaker one's in. back in. It's 9 10, Andy. Oscar Turnbull. <laughs> Sun's out, outbreak's out. That's, uh, there are three things you get with outbreak you get bids, you get bent, and you get botched leads. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's what we've got now. 
Nine, ten, they've let them back in. What they are doing, which I like, is they're sticking fat. They're going back as a unit. You can see them all walking down the middle of the field. They may have called it. Have they been one? I saw some they signaling. It, they're walking back as a unit. I always like to see this. Every player on the team engaged, even if they're not going to be on the field. I think they have burned I one, think, so yeah, I'm yep. definitely going to go listen to them. Uh, I'll be back. We're back in after that timeout. Outbreak with the momentum on nine. Sublime with a narrow lead on ten. What was the talk in the Sublime camp, Andy? Well, it was, it's Sublime, right? So I can't repeat the majority of it. <laughs> but um, uh, an unusually um, calm and intellectual Kylo just saying, let's embrace the challenge that it's, this team has given us. Um, almost philosophical. Um, and then... Jackson said a bunch of stuff I can't repeat. So um, the word play like wild dogs. I think wild dogs is the probably the only thing I can say. Nice. You can see that reflected. Sublime of a power line on. They've brought Bennett Carpenter across from the D line. Oh, and outbreak get the pressure on the turn. Did they, have they played junk apart from the last two points? If they, maybe they played it a bit in the first half, but this game has changed because yeah. they have played, That's right. they've got two turns in about three throws playing zone. Yeah. Big chance here, but the, it is an upwind, so it's far from certain. Great around break, toes it in, moves it back into, wants to move back into the middle. Dumps too far out of position, so he has to go inside, makes it work, they swing it across. This is the best outbreak of look. He, he is under that one. Cheng counts getting high, has to move it back. Ryan it's covered really well by Jacko, gets wide, protects it, makes it happen. Foley covered, so they've had to retreat to midfield. They've lost about 10 15 meters. Narayan oh, just took a concentrate on that one, they grilled. Sublime get the turn, Kyle picking up, Verno going deep. Looking for a smaller, safer option. Points where he wants. Boche swings across. Mazarai coming as expected. Who's got the long option? Schmidt, no. Doesn't like it. Boche jinking to get free. Oh. Just overthrows him a little bit in that downwind space. Just gets pushed down into the turf. It's a pretty critical point now, Andy. It's going to oh, work. And it's a turn again to Sublime. <laughs> Carpenter with the disc now. Verno on his hands and knees. Swing back around. The three Musketeers. And Schmidt. Ooh, Sublime will be breathing a sigh of relief after that point. Yeah, and I wonder if that just takes a little bit of jam out of Outbreak's donut. They had a, such good momentum. Yeah, from about three or four points ago, they were really, really flat on that sideline. And oh, yeah. somehow they've managed to turn it around. It's really impressive. Agreed. But no, Sublime pulling Carpenter over from that D-line was effective this time. Yeah, it was good to see. Good to see. That wind's still kicking up, but at least 
got the sun. Yeah, and that timeout, the chat in the outbreak cap was about the intensity. They recognised that probably wasn't good enough um, in this middle patch of the game. But now trying to get their heads up, voices up, get back into this game. Shout out to the youngest member of the Ulti TV crew, Felix. He can stick around all weekend. He, uh, I, I had the pleasure of meeting Felix last night and he informed me that uh, I look like Tony Stark. So that's my weekend, mate. Um, you can stick around as much as you want, Felix. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> Sublime with a high lofty pull. Let's see if that defensive pressure on their first couple of passes will be effective again. Yep, out, great retreat, a little bit behind. Although Sean Davis working hard in that power position. Now goes for a big cut off by Glover. Sublime get the turn. I don't mind the aggression. I, I, I think Sean knows that he was the first one to kind of change the dynamic with all the breaks. I think him getting more aggressive is outbreaks only path to victory. Here. Absolutely, you got to go hard or go home. I think what they were doing wasn't working, so they've got to change it up. You've got Fogs in the power position. Just working it through the handlers at the moment. A little bit of a gainer. Sublime, just being really patient, just looking for those 100% options. Oh, wow. It's a lovely lefty inside break. Lover goes for a big. Oh, I don't know if that's around the side. Yeah. Yeah, outside. Fogg nice. uh, doing his best to kind of blend in, I think, with the Ballarat locals, kind of integrate with maybe the good people of Sebastopol. <laughs> Not the most affluent suburb in uh, Ballarat. But anyway, we very grateful to the people of Ballarat and the, the council for putting us on. Point it's going long. Again, sublime defensive intensity. Nice grab off. Get back to Shawnee. Now Shawnee's going. Just working small ball, breaking through that first row of defense. They're so patient. Yeah. About three long cuts have gone that all could have been thrown. Yeah, all hostage. I think Shawnee's seen enough. Yep. Up, 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 up. Oh, well read. Score. Okay, they well know. Outbreak. They're still here. Not going away. They're still here. 10-11. Time. We're 86 minutes on the time clock. 100 minute uh, time cap for this one, wasn't it? Uh, I'll back you in. 100 minutes. 100 minutes. Oh, might be maybe 90, 90. For the first two days. 90 minutes. See, I knew it wasn't 100 minutes. I told you it wasn't 100 minutes. Uh, let's see. The next game, by the way, for those playing online that we will be bringing you from this field uh, will again be from the Open Division. It is going to be an absolute humdinger. Newcastle I-Beam versus Crank. These teams both in a... Um, similar to this. Like, they're, they're probably not at the top, but they're definitely battling for a decent quarter, maybe sneaking into a semi, and then anything can happen. Those teams are... Uh, they're there's been a lot of crossover between like Ibeam and Crank I feel like they've all played on each other's teams but also a couple of uh, interesting characters a couple of fiery characters I'll tell you which one's who they don't like me talking about I'll tell you which one's who in the game but first we've got a game to solve here it's 11-10 to Sublime at the moment an outbreak coming out with a junk although it looks like they're counting down to transition Looks like they've gone to match now. So they did well to stop the first few looks with that junk. Now to match, Sublime are moving a little more freely. Bang! Kyle goes for a big shot. Oh, oh big to Matt McKenzie. And that's the score, 12-10. Sublime pulling away again. Kylo is just... I reckon he's one of the first boat ship kickers that's been made. Like, he's just... Uh, not just for what he brings on the field, but he's exceptional on the field. But I've played on teams with him, and teams with him. Just the energy that he brings as a as a player, but just around, you know, like the thing about rugby is you play tournaments. You don't just play once a week. You play tournaments, and that's over a number of days and number of nights. And like just bringing the energy and the positivity in the 
hotel rooms at night or when you're going to get ice cream or you're going for a feed. He's just a joy to be around. He's a really, really nice bloke. I hate saying it about him, but, you know, <laughs> uh, he is. Um, and obviously his frisbee ability. I think he's been picked. He's, he's a dingo run for sure. Yeah. yeah. Dingo yeah. croc as well. Croc. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, okay. Definitely a dingo level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the dingoes campaign, so he'll be playing in Gold Coast in August, September this year. Did he play many points on this croc? I don't know, actually. I think he was more of a defensive yeah. mark. No, I've got a lot of time for Brucey. He's... Uh, <laughs> He's a great character in the sport and he's a great asset to his team. Mm. So we've got the D line for Sublime coming out with a pull just past half way. Foster bringing it in for outbreak. We've got Davis pulling the defender out. Bit of a junky look for Sublime. Just picked off the grass by Foster. Just a little one upfield. Trying to be really patient. Oh, there's a height. Oh, I think Sublime pull it down. Diaz with the hops. And we've got Carpenter winding up for a big one. Oh, falling short. Oh, great grab by Aleska. Oh, no. Oh, oh. That had everything. About three discs in anyone's game. And we've got Outbreak now, trying to make use of the sort of line out of position. Donaldson winds up for a big. Oh, and does go the big. Oh, bubbles out of the hands. It's uh, frenetic pace at the moment. Uh, thanks for the feedback regarding technical stuff. If you can just let us know which mic's not working, uh, we'll get that fixed. Thank you very much, Josh G. They both look on. All good if it's uh, my one that's not working, but if it's Avril's, uh, I need to get that fixed. I think I might have uh, said something a bit too loud and broke the mic. We've got Outbreak bringing it in. Again, reliable Sean Davis. Just working through the handlers at the moment. The receivers are really deep. It's not going to be easy. Still retreating now behind halfway. Sublime applying a lot of pressure, outbreak, going for a big but pretty high stall option. Wardrop with the hops picking it off for Sublime. Oh, hang on, there might be a call somewhere. I'm not sure where. Uh, Maybe a stall out. A stall. Yeah. Okay. All right, looks like the mics are all up now for Thank both myself and Andy. Seems to be working. It was yours. Andy's. Nah, okay. Andy's. I know what happened. I was saying something nice about Kylo and it broke the mic. <laughs> Lesson of the story. So no one actually heard me say something nice about him. Off you the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Sublime so bring it back in. Their D line working hard to try and get another break. Fox so doesn't like the first two options, so looking for the dump. Sublime really being very safe and secure with the disc. But also, uh, Outbreak have ramped it up a bit now. The defensive pressure. Couple in the under space, just the defenders blocking. Fatigue setting in here, Abra. Yeah. Oh. yeah and the wind's gusting so up a little ground. bit as well. This yeah. upwind is not easy to throw in. Oh, go, go, go. Big Come on, Chef. Yeah, that long cut was just a little bit late. So we've got Fogs on the sideline. Sorry, Deering on the sideline coming to Fogs. To Ben Bastion. War drop. Big. Lovely continuation. Come on, come on. Up line, just working it up slowly but surely. Sublime. Sweet as get it to Small one. Yep, that's the score. That's another break. That is a break, yeah. 13 10. That's a shame because uh, I think for probably 80% of that point, um, I really liked Outbreak's mm. defence and some of it was helped by the wind because it did get quite blustery, but they were just shutting down the upfield options. And, uh, you know, Sublime were great because they just moved it laterally until they could work it out. Mm. But uh, it was just a bit of a shame that it, once they did get that first one through on the far side, they were kind of off. Yeah. I mean, 
I think Outbreaks have to try and take some positives. For this last patch of play in this half of the field, they did manage to squeeze Sublime to make them use that narrow channel on the sideline. Yeah. So that's some small positive to take away. I think if they could manage to stop those upline cuts from the dump space, yeah. that would yeah. probably do the trick. That yep. one right there. Yep. So 13, 10, 94 minutes now. Maybe we are going to 100 minutes now. See, I told you. I should back myself, eh? Yeah, yeah, I never doubted you. And the sun's well and truly out oh, now, so. Beautiful. Oh, lovely downwind pull. I'd be nervous catching that one. I wouldn't even. <laughs> <laughs> Braver than me. Donaldson with the disc. Someone's gone down, but it's play on. So Donaldson starting in the backfield this point. I feel like he's been starting more in yeah. the cutting space. Don't Maybe a bit that. of a shift to try to mix things up a little bit. Brill. T cut Ooh. off the front. Goes through. Doesn't really have a mark. Goes to Donaldson. Donaldson, nice wide flick. Oh. To the fold, but it was just at an awkward angle. Fold didn't know whether to clap catch or uh, go with the Dukes. And this could really make life hard. Bubba looks inside, looks inside low. Whoa, wall drop. Layout, beard, lovely shot. Getting involved in a one two now. His teammate could have taken a clap catch, but what? Oh, oh no, he throws turn. it to Donaldson. Outbreak now, moving it up. Trouble. Nice. Just goes recovery. for the safe swing. Oh. Ooh, just a slight overthrow. A few people in the space. O'Neill from Sublime brings it down. And they've brought Carlo. Oh, oh it's another high one. But you've backed Carlo in most days. He, <laughs> he plays taller than he looks. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Carl's actually come over to the D-line this point, so they must be recognising that this one's an important one to get. We've got Matt McKenzie now. No inside. Kyle looking to get every second pass. Another floaty one. Secures it. Across to Foggs. Up to Kinsella. O'Neill working hard to get in that under space. Oh, big Ooh. play. That's oh, the score. That was a big gamble. It was a big gamble. I, I can't see who the player was, but he, was, uh, uh, he came off the poach. He came, mm. he basically charged, like charging the QB, basically yes. charged him. And Jackson was carrying on like a peanut. And we might be. Uh, Game to, to 15, game to 15, probably. They're all slapping hands. Well, they might be done. Yeah, no, they it are. looks like game lining up. They looks like it's game. Up. So that's that's the game. 14-10. Uh, they must have had time cap during that point. Sorry, we didn't call it out. Uh, but we didn't hear a siren. So uh, that's Sublime opening their account for Div 1 Nationals. Uh, but good signs if you're outbreak. Absolutely. I think... Showed uh, showed glimpses, made a couple of uh, a couple of runs at it, but to Sublime's credit, they were able to kind of respond each time. So uh, I think we'll see these teams in about the middle. I think they'll yep. be fighting for those, like I said, those quarterfinal quarterfinal spots. Uh, similar to the next game that we've got coming up, which I said was I beam out of Newcastle and, and crank, crank out of Wollongong. So that game will be coming up uh, in about 20 minutes, uh, 10 minutes time. Uh, how exciting is that? Uh, so please continue to uh, jump on, like, subscribe, chat, get amongst the Patreon um, because Ulti TV in conjunction with Ultimate Australia love bringing these events to you and the more support that we get from you means the more we can do it. Avril, anything final from you? No, I think it was really impressed that Outbreak were able to get a few crucial points and get close, the one to two point margins. They just have to get that consistent see and work with that momentum to um, keep the spirits up Fantastic. so I hope to see more of that for the rest of the tournament all right we'll be back in 10 minutes with the next game see you then